Okay, in this video we're going to talk about Trucking Database and how to use it. So Trucking Database is a great resource uh, for when you have anything with a certain keyword in it that might reference the fact that it's a trucking company. We'll see a couple of those keywords and I'll mention a few more. Uh, at the end of the day, you just have to use your judgment to decide whether or not you think it's a trucking company. You can try anything, and worst comes to worst, you won't get a search result. Uh, but this is a definite, excellent way to shoot yourself straight to the email of the owner of one of these trucking companies. So I've compiled a small spreadsheet with a list of several different trucking companies that don't necessarily have the word trucking in their name. Uh, and we'll see how to use Trucking Database and how to get around some of the potential hang-ups of Trucking Database. So let's take a look at the first one. So we can see it's called Young's Trucking Company. So what we would do is we would say, oh, this is a trucking company. Let's check it in Trucking Database. You plug in the name of the company and you press search. And you'll get back, sometimes you'll only get back one result. Sometimes you'll get back multiples. So we need to look at the state. It's in Alabama. So we'll take this one, the one that's in Alabama. So we'll look at it. And you can see it gives you all kinds of information, but what we're looking for is the email. So we'll copy the email. First, we'll validate it. Okay, we would stick that into our sheet. And we'll also take a look at Sales Navigator to see if it gives us anything, which it didn't, that's okay. But in general, as a general rule of thumb, if you get an email from Trucking Database, you can validate it, check it in Sales Navigator, and use it. All right, let's check the next one, another trucking one. Frank Perez Trucking. Let's search. So we didn't get any records, but it says trucking in the title. I'm pretty confident that it's in there. So why don't we try widening the search? I'll delete the word trucking. We'll just look for Frank Perez. And you can see now it came back with some results. So the, excuse me for doing that, the Frank Perez that we're looking for is in Missouri. So we have one in Missouri. Let's take a look. Um, and he doesn't have an email, but that's okay. We were still able to find a guy. So that's good practice to see that sometimes you need to change or delete a bit of the name of the company in order to find exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Now this one doesn't say trucking, but it says transport. That's another keyword to look for when you're looking for one of these trucking companies. So when I see transport, I immediately think trucking database. So let's check it out. We get one result. He's in Nixon, Missouri. Nixon, Missouri. Excellent. Okay, he has an email. So let's copy the email. Let's validate it. While that's validating, we'll go over to Zero Bounce, uh, excuse me, to Sales Navigator and check. Okay, he doesn't have a LinkedIn link to it. Okay, it came back valid. So that's another email that we got just from Trucking Database. The next one also says transport and it says towing. Towing is another keyword uh, for plugins to Trucking Database. So let's check it out. We got one result in West Haven, Connecticut, West Haven, Connecticut. Okay, let's look, and we got an email. So the email is Ken. We can see that the guy's name is Kenneth, so we would change his name to Ken. We would check the email. While it's validating, we can check Sales Navigator. Email came back valid. Okay, awesome. So out of four accounts so far, just from Trucking Database alone, we found three emails. So another key word is freight. Um, freight is obviously another word for trucking or transport. So as soon as you see that, one of the easiest places to start with the search is just go straight to trucking database. Now we got several results back. Freight King is a pretty generic name. So we're looking for the one that's in San Jose, California. Uh, that would be this one. Let's check it out. And again, we have an email and it's a personal email at that, which is even better. So let's validate and let's look at Sales Navigator. Sales Navigator came back with someone, so we would check that out. I'm not gonna do that right now, but we would check it out. And his email is valid, so we would put that in. So on that one, we got an email and we got 
a LinkedIn, which I won't do the whole search right now, but that's a very good find. Okay, another one of the keywords is logistics. Sometimes it's trucking, sometimes it's not, but it's always worth checking out because if you do get something from trucking database, it's an easy win. So let's take a look. We got one result in Fletcher, North Carolina. Fletcher, North Carolina. Let's look for it. And again, we got an email. So I think you've got the idea. There are keywords, anything that has to do with trucking or towing, logistics, transport, freight. Those things are worth plugging in to trucking database. And once you plug them in, you could find hopefully usually an email and oftentimes the emails are valid. And sometimes occasionally you'll even find a LinkedIn as well.